Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're gonna take a look at how to feather a mask in Photoshop. We've got an image out here. Now our image doesn't quite go to the edge of the canvas. And let's say I just wanted to feather this into white. So it's gonna go from this blue sky color into this white. I've obviously got a hard line right here. So I need to make sure my mask is underneath that line and then sort of feather it. The way masks work, if I have my layer selected and I go down and add a mask, this is just a blank mask. Anywhere that's white, is totally see-through. So right now everything is see-through. Anywhere that's black is transparent. And everything in between is sort of a different level of transparency. So with that being said, one of the quickest ways is to create a gradient to feather this. So I press G, that's the gradient tool. You might see it inside paint bucket gradient tool. It looks like this right here. And up here I can select my gradient. So I would select just a basic black to white gradient, turn off reverse. So wherever we click should be black and then where we let go should be a gradient to white. And the longer that you make this gradient, the more feathered it will look. If it's very short, it won't look quite as feathered. So if I click just inside the edge here, and drag, it's gonna create a gradient. I can hold shift to keep it perpendicular, like straight up and down, and then let go before it reaches my subject, just like that. Well, looks like I needed to hit reverse on that gradient. So let's go back and click that reverse button. Now, the color on the left here is where your first click is. So it's gonna be black on my first click, and then I do the same exact thing and let go, and it's gonna be white. There we go. All right, you see on my mask layer, it created a gradient. Everything above my click is totally black, and then once it hits my click or wherever I let go, it's white. And then it's just a nice blended gradient in between, which creates that feathered transparency between the subject and the background. Now, another way we can do this, because this is kind of like its own layer, you can paint in black and white. So we could grab the paintbrush tool. The shortcut key for that is B. We could go up here and select our brush size, turn our hardness down to zero, which means now we have a very soft brush. Make sure your smoothing is set to wherever you want it. For this, I'm gonna do smoothing zero and opacity 100, flow 100. But I have this little brush, right? And I can draw out here or paint out here. Right now I have white selected and there's black as my second color so I can click this flipped little arrow to make sure black is my main color. If you're painting in gray, then it's kind of gonna not show the full transparency, right? It's gonna be like 50% or whatever percentage that is. So I would paint in black with that soft brush. Now as I click, you can see that that soft brush removes kind of like an eraser tool, part of my image. It doesn't actually remove the image, it's just creating a mask. If I create a, or use a larger brush, so my bracket keys left and right, I could just really quickly make a larger brush size. It's gonna be much more feathered along this edge, similar to how we just used the gradient tool, except that I can actually paint this out here. So I could kind of use this however I would like. If you go a little bit too far, right? I went into my subject there. What I can actually do is press X and all that does is basically click this arrow for me. So now I'm on white and I actually can just paint that white back in and I can go back and forth. And that's kind of, that's a lot of the ways that I use masks is just using that X key, go back and forth between white and black and get that mask to be exactly how I want it. But you can see I made a different effect that you couldn't quite do with that gradient tool that still achieves the same effect in my image. Now the last way that you can feather gradients, and I use it probably pretty rarely because usually when I feather, I use those first two options, but if we make a mask, and let's say I just create a selection out here, I've got the uh, square or rectangular marquee tool, and I create a selection of everything, but I'm inside of my edge a little bit. The way that this feathering works is it's gonna feather from the center out from the edge of your mask, basically. So since I'm cutting it off here, it's gonna feather a little bit up and a little bit down. So somewhere a little bit away from your subject and a little bit away from the edge of your photo is where you should create that mask. Uh, create that mask. But I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer mask first because I wanna create a mask based on this selection. So once I have that selection made and I have the layer selected, I can go down here and click and it creates a mask. So that mask basically knocked out everything above this selection. If for whatever reason it was reversed of that, you can just press Command or Control I to reverse your mask. I don't want that in this photo. I created the correct mask, so there we go. We got that like that. And we can double click on our mask layer to get into the select and mask mode. Now inside of here, there's actually a feather option underneath global refinements. So we can crank this feathering up and you can see 
it just feathers away at the edge of that mask. Now, if you go too far, that feather goes into our subject and the edge of the photo. So we want to bring it down until we don't see the edge up here. And now we have that similar feathered mask effect. We can hit OK, and you can see basically it did that gradient tool. Um, that's why I use the gradient tool more often, but there is feathering inside of Select and Mask, and you can just double click this to pull open that panel, and we've done the same effect. So that's a couple different ways on how to feather masks here in Photoshop.